Uh, block three here at Aurora is uh, traditionally been our high yield block. So uh, we're managing this block three at just a little bit higher soil fertility levels. Uh, we've addressed some micronutrients in the soil. Um, but given our results on intercrop the past couple years, we decided to throw intercrop on this block to just see how, how high maybe we can push some of these yields on, on intercropping. And so we have the 40 foot by 40 foot configuration and you'll notice uh, behind me, uh, instead of going with soybeans, uh, we wanted to take care, uh, advantage of some of our nitrogen program and, and push Milo and see how Milo would perform. And so when we look back here, um, we ended up getting our Milo a little taller than we probably anticipated. And uh, the first concern we had is uh, obviously our heads are above our ear level. And, and so the concern is, is that going to impact uh, some of the sunlight effect or the solar radiation we're trying to capture? And fortunately, um, from everything we're seeing right now, as we go in, um, grabbing some ears here, um, it hasn't appeared to affect uh, uh, any of our uh, uh, fill into the tip. Uh, this year, uh, we pushed our outside rows to uh, 50,000. Uh, in this particular trial, we have replications at 50,000. Uh, down a little bit further, uh, we're going 45,000 on the outside. So we've increased from, from previous years. Uh, the highest we've been was 42. Uh, now we're looking at ears where we're pushing the, uh, the uh, 50,000 mark and still uh, getting pretty good fill here. Um, one of the things that we battled all year is uh, some Japanese beetles and rootworm beetles out here. Uh, we're in a hot spot for those, and so we are missing a few kernels uh, due to some uh, some pollination where we had a few silks clipped. But but all in all, we're real happy with uh, uh, the development we're getting here and uh, and what we're seeing out of this.